This Chipman School may seem the same as others, but it is not. It has a unique program that handles students who break the law. Restorative justice, to begin with, is an alternative measures to the court system. The program was brought into Chipman 10 years ago. Seven years later, the school adopted it. Instead of facing a judge, a person charged meets the victim one-on-one, -on -one, but it starts with the accused meeting police. The RCMP, initially they have the discretion to either issue a caution, a warning, send the young individual to alternative measures, send them through court or to restorative justice. Stewart's team then sits down with the victim and the accused. Ashley Lynn Bell is a student facilitator and believes the program is a great alternative. Personally, I've had experiences with other people through it and it really sh gives people a chance to show remorse. Um, just having the victim meet the offender or the offender meet the victim um, really has a strong impact on, on the individual. As part of the program, the accused must sign a contract. It spells out how they are going to pay for their crime. Most times this involves community service. Stewart says a person that has gone through restorative justice is less likely to commit another crime. Of all of the forums that we had run over the past two or three years, only one has ever reoffended. Even though Chipman is currently the only school taking part in restorative justice, Stewart hopes that the program will spread to other schools in District 17 and across the province. In Chipman, Brad Perry, Community College News.